hello guys uh, welcome to my channel uh, today we are going to uh, make and make a beautiful uh, web application to show cryptocurrencies and their prices as you can see in this web application we have a list of 100 uh, cryptocurrencies with their prices as you can see we can search for example for ripple and we can uh, see ripple's price and uh, it doesn't uh, refresh the page for uh, searching and uh, for example searching for Tron another cryptocurrency we can seek Tron's price and we can uh, search on time in our web application without refreshing the page and without missing the time let's get in the code so let's code our application and create our application so and uh, for show those uh, cryptocurrencies we have to fetch them from a real api that uh, for uh, showing them in our application for fetching those data i would use uh, axios for uh, installing axios we have to uh, open our terminal and write npmi or npm install axios and I skip this operation so now we have installed our uh, package axios and uh, let me run my application to see what is going on there as you can see uh, we have uh, this uh, fragment that uh, wraps whole our application we have a container here we have a uh, we have two and uh, DIVs uh, inside of our container. First DIV is uh, for search box and contains our search box. And the second uh, DIV, uh, as you can see, contains our uh, result box. And we can see our cryptocurrency in this DIV. So now uh, we can uh, fetch our data from uh, from our API and uh, for fetching data i will use and uh, use effect in react and uh, i will import it from react and it doesn't need initial values uh, i will use axios uh, please import it from axios and axios.get and i will put this uh, API address in the caption in the caption that uh, you can use it in your project and let's fetch those data look at the response and catch the errors here and print the errors in our uh, web console if we had so let's uh, print the response uh, that we have we will uh, we will get in our console let's print it in our console as you can see we have a JSON file that uh, this JSON file has a data array that includes 100 cryptocurrencies that uh, the data that we need is here and we have to render this uh, data here and we need response.data and as you can see we need this data this array that includes our 100 cryptocurrencies data and here uh, now we need a uh, state here uh, I will use a uh, user state and uh, import it from uh, react like as use effect I, and with the initial value of empty array and set data and 
data. And here, after uh, fetching the data, I will make this function async to return a promise and await and make the application wait for the data and set the data set our state with uh, these 100 uh, uh, with the array that includes 100 cryptocurrencies now uh, we have to uh, create a loop here I use a map method and data that map here with our function and make a loop of a hundred elements here now let's make the data dynamic we use elements.id for their name as you can see they are let's make the image images dynamic elements that image and the cryptocurrencies price element dot current price so now we can see a list of a hundred cryptocurrencies that uh, but we can't uh, search in them and for adding that uh, functionality we can we can use uh, this uh, event here in our on our input uh, event of unchange and uh, get the event target that value and send it to the function handle for example handle handle search yes and send oh I, i'm sorry here uh, i need to send events that target that value and send the targets to this handle change handle uh, search excuse me uh, function here i have to get the event get the get that a string and now here let me uh, print this event and uh, print this event in our uh, web console to see what is going on now let's search about for example uh, let's search about bitcoin as you can see we can uh, see this uh, we can uh, see the string that we are entering uh, into the inputs in our uh, web console for example ethereum we can see in our web console so we have access to the uh, name that uh, has been entered in our input so we can use uh, we can use that to uh, we can use that to filter our data we need a another uh, state that uh, help help us to filter our data with initial value of empty array set filtered filtered data and filter it filter data so now mm, we have to set the filter data in the initial value of hold the list and let me render the filtered data instead of our first data and now let me create a constant of, with name of x data and have a copy of our data and another constant name and new data and x data that I filter with the filter method and get the x and now let's return the x dot id the cryptocurrency's name x dot id x dot id and uh, 
which starts with our event. What was our event? Our event was the cryptocurrency's name. So, I'm sorry, event. Now, it's okay. Uh, we can uh, say e dot to lowercase to a little bit easier to search our target. And now, let's see our new array, our new state in console. As you can see, for example, Bitcoin, we have an array of uh, with uh, three uh, children uh, that starts with uh, Bitcoin, for example, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and the last one, and it will change by the events that we have handled. So now let me delete this uh, print and let's set the filters uh, set the filter data states to this new array and our new data and our work is done let me search for throne as you can see we can see the throne and throne's price and uh, let me search for finance coin as you can see we have two cryptocurrencies that starts with finance and let me search for ethereum we can see ethereum and ethereum classic and our do our uh, work is done don't forget to subscribe my channel please like my uh, video and goodbye